Steph Davis here from FlipThisWholesaler.net where I teach you to make more money, flip more houses, and kick more ass. I've got a brand new Q&A video for you guys today. My question this week comes from Ben in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and Ben writes, Hi Steph, I've got my first REO property under contract and just found a cash buyer willing to pay $6,500 more. Only problem is when I asked for a $2,000 deposit like you teach, the buyer told me it's his standard company policy to only give $100. I've got $1,000 as an earnest money deposit with the bank and I'm not sure what I should do. Any advice would be appreciated. Thank you, Ben in Milwaukee. All right, well, Ben, first off, congratulations on getting that deal under contract. That is a great way to start off uh, 2015. Uh, as far as the buyer goes, who is saying that they're only willing to give you $100 as an earnest money deposit, and that is their standard company policy, I would simply let them know that it is your standard company policy to only sign the contract if uh, and when they cough up to grand. Uh, you know, what can happen Let's say you go ahead and sign this contract with your end buyer. Uh, they give you the or their title company uh, $100 for an earnest money deposit. You said you've got $1,000 that the bank um, that you've given to the bank as your earnest money deposit. Let's just say the day of closing, your end buyer can't get their funds together, or they just decide that they do not want to move forward with the deal. Uh, if they back out of the contract, the only thing they're going to lose is that $100. But if you aren't able to close on that deal yourself, or if you can't find another buyer to close on it, you're going to lose your thousand dollars to the bank. All right, so um, you're going to get the buyers, your end buyers, hundred bucks, but you're going to lose that thousand dollars that you gave to the bank. So you're going to be negative nine hundred dollars. All right, um, always, always, always get two thousand dollars non-refundable, no exceptions. All right, uh, it's it's a lot easier for a uh, for an investor or for a buyer to back out of the deal if they've got 10 bucks or 50 bucks or 100 bucks on the line as compared to $2,000 or more. So uh, I would just let him know that it's just that's just the way it is. Um, he can either cough up the two grand or you're not going to do the deal. Now it might be that you know maybe he is, I don't know if you asked him to write the check out to you personally and maybe he doesn't want to do that, that happens. Um, sometimes investors aren't comfortable writing the deposit check out to you so you can let him know, hey look, if you want to you know write this check out, the deposit check out and have it held at the, um, write it out to the title company and have it held in escrow until closing, that's fine. Um, you know, maybe that is his issue. Uh, if that's the case, if you do that, just make sure that you verify that the check is actually being dropped off at the title company. Don't take their word for it. Um, good idea to do in that situation is just meet them at the title company, sign the paperwork there, and then have them uh, bring the check to drop off. Uh, the other thing, you know, it could be maybe, you know, sometimes other wholesalers will try and lock up your deal on the cheap and then try and remarket it. So it could be that it's not even a real buyer, it's a wholesaler. Uh, whatever the case is, I would not move forward with this deal if I were you, unless you get that $2,000. I would let them know that right away. And if they pass on it, um, get, your butt, get your butt out there and start marketing the deal. If it's truly a good deal, you're going to be able to find another buyer for it. If you haven't done so already, uh, I would definitely grab a copy of my Cash Buyer Ninja training. Um, it's about four hours where I walk you through uh, some really easy and cheap and quick ways to locate cash buyers in your area. So if you haven't done so already, go through that, implement all of those strategies. And if it really is a good deal, you're going to be able to find another buyer very quickly. All right, Ben, uh, I hope that helped. Best of luck with your deal. Keep me posted as to how it turns out. That is all I have for you guys today. Have a great rest of your afternoon, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.